Hello, my name is Lauren. Welcome back to the vlog. This week I think it's going to be kind of a weekly vlog. Um, we're going to check in briefly every day. I feel like I have a bunch of things happening this week. It's going to be a bit busy, uh, events here and there, but also working. So today I'm headed off with a friend. We're heading downtown to go to one of the Hutong areas. Um, really just to have a look around and just have like a nice morning but then i'm gonna race back for work so it's gonna be a busy day but i'm very excited let's head off Thank you. Pro. Oh, ni hao. Ni hao. Oh. I feel like we've kind of, we've like started our own tour company. Like, you know, you would come on a tour to like see the authentic Hutong. Yeah. But this is our own tour. Yeah, we're, we're in charge of this. We've just randomly chosen and I think we chose well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. We're doing it. Busy oh down God, here. Oh, in the, oh, in his little basket. Should we see what they're like selling down here and yeah. then continue this way? Yeah. Street meat. Oh, yes. Ooh. I haven't seen any coffee yet, oh my God. but I'm keeping an eye out. Ooh, he's making the jumping. <laughs> Full window we've stopped at. Mystery. <laughs> what is this? What is this? An apple, a pear, a, ti a tiny green pumpkin. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Wait, there's another one. But these ones they look are like squash. A tiny squash. Yeah. Oh, a tiny squash. These look because these are you know like longer. This looks like a weird cucumber. This may be like a zucchini or yeah. Squash cucumber, but these yeah. though, I don't know about that. It's not soft, it's hard. It's like a mystery fruit. So mysterious. Do you know what this is? Durian? Yes, durian! Yeah. durian. <laughs> durian. It's durian! <laughs> they had um, durian Oreos last night. I've never seen durian Oreos. They were like, eat it. I was like, I will not eat this. What is this? On this side, we have these pretty paintings. And then on that side, we have like carvings. That's cool. Street art. Mm -hmm. Whoa, I like the mountains. Whoa! This is the hutong that we're at. Don't really know where we are. But we have our jumping. And we're gonna keep walking. Winging it. Winging it. <laughs> little calligraphy store. This is how like the little kids learn to do their writing. Whoa. Write the characters. I know because I've tried. Nah, try, and try. it's very hard. <laughs> Should I give it a go? <laughs> Which one should I do up here? Oh, I think it disappears after a while. Mm. Oh, so okay. if you miss up. So you, well, this side had like a little here and a here and a here. And then this side had like a one, two, no, don't know. <laughs> hey, for effort. <laughs> hey, for effort. <laughs> you try again. You, <laughs> you show me first. Mm -hmm. uh, there. Okay, now I have a good example. Mm -hmm. Now I have to turn it so I can Just see. Just copy it, example. copy it. Okay. Ugh. I got it, I got it, I got it. Mm. This is so cool, it disappears. <laughs> it's like an etch a sketch. Okay, let's mm -hmm. go. One, two, three. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Hey. <laughs> you want to try one? Um, We're here in this fan shop. I'm going back and forth with all these beautiful fans. I think it would look very cute in my room. They're so pretty. Like he's working on them right here. Like it just they look really amazing. So intricate. I know. They've got the little animals. I really like this one. I don't know. Get the lettuce. I know. Oh. I've never seen one like this before. I've seen this one with the ball. Mm. Whoa. Oh 
my gosh, where are we? This looks like a cute little like tea shop. I wonder if it's open. Cause then like this, like this is not open. This is all closed up, this big building here. We gonna go find out. These are so cool. And you have all the little loose leaf teas. We just randomly found this cute little tea shop and we were just saying that we wanted to find coffee or tea. And then we just found this beautiful, beautiful tea spot. And I've never been to like a tea house really like this, but I've always wanted to go. And it just is kind of like the most random days where you don't really know what you're gonna do. And today turned out to be like the best day, <laughs> but sometimes you don't really find anything. And then it's just like, you're just wandering aimlessly and you never find anything. It's just so random, but today was so good. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh yeah, this is on the leaf too. Okay, these, this is so really, cute. really cute. So little, little one, little onesie. <gasps> it is really pretty. The tea is here, the tea is here. As soon as we walked in, we both said this smells like our grandparents' house and nothing <laughs> nothing could ever be more accurate. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Wow. We have the cup. Look at the this, cup. Yeah, it's ready. We have hot water. We have the tea leaves, the strainer, and then the little teapot that it goes. And look, fish cups. the cute cups that we were looking at, it's meant to be. <gasps> Literally so cute. So I am inspired to do a video that's all just like what I eat, the food that I buy living in China, but I thought that I would just stop and show you what I'm eating this evening before I head to work. Um, basically at all the places that I've lived and worked at in China in the past, there's always been lots of um, canteen style food options, which is kind of like a buffet style where you have uh you just choose a couple things from the line uh yeah and i really like all there's different options but i always go for the chinese set option because i really like the chinese food so let me show you what i have here today the reason that i chose this meal today is because i really like the bean sprouts so the bean sprouts are my favorite this is like an egg and chive mixture i like the egg and i like the mm, vegetable vegetable option. uh yeah so there are different choices, but this is the kind of style that I always like to get, and I really enjoy it. It's just a perfect little bit of food before I head to work for the evening. As I edit and do the captions for my videos, it just draws my attention to how often I say, Oh, it's so cute! It must be so annoying. I keep saying that over and over and also how often I don't finish my sentences or I don't really explain something. It happens a lot. Today we're at the Summer Palace. I'm back with Rachel. Hi! The vlog knows Rachel. Remember from last week? The vlog! The vlog! The vlog! Hello! Are you excited for the summer palace? So excited. So excited. What do you think we're gonna see? Summer. A palace. A palace. <laughs> it's summer. Yeah. Wow. There it is. Wow. Excellent. Ooh. Pretty. Yeah, pretty. Oh, bright. On our Didi ride here, we were learning, looking up some fun facts and learning that this Suzhou Street alleyway, uh, Suzhou Street shopping center, is where they would come and pretend to shop because actually everything was just purchased for them. So it wasn't like real shopping, but they wanted to have the shopping experience. Look at me, history. There's no railings here. Isn't that odd? Death. Oh my God, careful. <laughs> Go. 
Get on. Go. Get that picture. We'll be there soon. Wait, I won't learn. Wait for us. See you soon. Get that red wall. Get it. Get it. Let's go. Up the steps. <laughs> okay, I am convinced that when me, my mom, and sister were here in 2018, we did not actually come to the Summer Palace. Like, we did, but we just did kind of like that long walkway. Um, <clears throat> we didn't really come to this section, I don't think. We were so tired after going to the Great Wall. I don't remember this at all. <laughs> it's a windy! I have two pairs of shorts on. Windy. Right, so who's Feng yeah. Han Da. I learned that one. I mean, I Windy. <laughs> All those stairs. The big stairs. I don't know. That's it. How did they get that of you? put us together. Last set of stairs. We can do it. Here we go. We finished our little breakfast date and now we're just walking through the San Latoon area and we walked by what looks like a car shop but like what is this? It's a hovercraft. What on earth? It's displayed like the cars are. Does that mean you can just come and just buy one? Maybe. Oh my gosh. I've never seen anything like this and you couldn't pay me to get in here. <laughs> you could not. Whoa. I would sit in it and take a picture, but there's no way that I would ride in it. Never. What is this store? This is the future. For real. That's wild. No. It looks like some form of promotion. Like where you fill out a survey. Ah, oh, maybe. And then ice cream. But make it coach. <laughs> Come see these shoes. I had these exact shoes when I was 10. They were $15 from Zellers. Do you know Zellers? No, but I, I know exactly what you're talking about. Zellers is like the Canadian Walmart. Yeah. And it doesn't exist anymore. Yes, we got three months. And that's where those shoes are from. I like the sparkles though. Me too. Honestly? Matching bag. Would buy. We won something. I don't know what it is. Let's open it and see. Yes. Oh, it's what you put on your phone. Oh. You put it on the back of your phone case. Wait, I want one. Yeah, I want one of these. Fantastic. Cute. A pop socket. Yeah, that's a pop what's socket. Cool. Ooh, my phone is coach. Love that. Ooh, let's see. Then, we come here together like birds of a feather to share our light. To fight off the monotony of the day to day with a night dedicated solely to us. And so here in this space, with the family we choose, the family we chose, we put on a show. 
Because what are we, if not performers? Not so good. <laughs> building the famous pants building I had a really lovely time yesterday we went to like a little group dinner um, which was super nice but I couldn't fully enjoy it because I and I kind of put the vlog on hold a little bit because I was so worried and I booked a doctor's appointment for today and I wouldn't probably be vlogging right now except that the doctor's appointment went really well and they were very nice and it turns out I am fine. I'm healthy, so all is good. But there was a moment where I was, you know, just you just can't stop thinking and you're just very worried. Anyways, all is well. So now I get to enjoy the rest of my afternoon. I'm downtown here, so I think I'm just gonna walk around to like the big mall that's up here, uh, have a look around, and yeah, enjoy the afternoon, which is nice. So let's go take a look. And I feel very grateful that um, I feel very grateful that the health care that I have access to here while I'm away from my home country is so good. And yeah, it is really good. Um, so I'm super, super grateful and super thankful for what I have. So I just wanted to say that and I just wanted to add that if you are also someone who is maybe living away from home or uh, um, maybe out of the country or or you're just someone who puts off doing the things that you should do to be taking care of yourself, like going to the dentist and going to the doctor, that it's something that you should do and you should prioritize, even if it's scary, even if you feel anxious for like a whole 24 hours beforehand, like I did, it's still worthwhile um, and you definitely need to take care of yourself and that's the most important thing. And I'm lucky that I have Alex here with me to remind me that I need to do things and take care of myself and we kind of both can do that for each other. But especially when you're you know, working somewhere by yourself or you're like traveling alone, you need to take care of yourself, always make sure you do that. So this is your reminder that if you have any appointments to book, just go and book them right now. There you go. You're welcome. Casey will be in the front as the lookout and 